Do you believe in ghosts? I didn't. It was the last thing on my mind. I was 16 and my family just moved to St. Peter, Minnesota because dad got a new job at Gustavus. I was excited because my parents were building their very first new home. In the summer of 1977, we rented a 100-year-old house for a year while the new home was being built. The old house was haunted. I felt shaken in some sort of a to the core sort of a way. Yeah, I'm okay. I just want you guys to come home. I felt like something had some kind of control and I decided that I didn't want to be enemies. But here, in this old house in St. Peter, Minnesota, <gasps> we did see things. The minimum, I was very mystified. I, there was definitely something here that, that couldn't easily be uh, brushed aside. There were too many people as witnesses. And I remember going to bed got scarier and scarier in that house to where I would go be upstairs, sitting halfway on the steps begging out. them to not make me go to bed. I remember thinking that it was the kind of feeling that you'd have if you lived in a place where somebody was murdered. I thought I saw something. But when I looked, it wasn't there. And without any explanation, the doors on the buffet, the side doors, opened up and everything inside fell on the floor. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really, really spooky around here when there's nobody else here. Yeah, could, could you guys hurry up and come home? Say, did you know your house is haunted? What did you say? Well, I grew up in St. Peter, and when I was a boy, a lot of people said that the house was haunted. So me and my friends, we'd kind of dare ourselves to ride by on our bikes. At least a lot of people said the house was haunted. Some people said the house would try to kill you. At least that's what they said. I turned around and I walked across the room to go get a flashlight upstairs. I got to the very center of the room and I heard clack, clack, clack. And I turned around and the fuse box doors were shut. Suddenly the lights came back on and we just bolted out of the basement. What happened? I don't know. The lights just turned back on. We smelled the burning smell and we came down and fire was pouring out of the furnace. And the mystery connected to the door is that periodically I would come down and check the, check the furnace and I would find this door sitting on the floor. In some cases the furnace would come on but the door was off and I would come down and here flames would be shooting out of the 
um, out of the furnace empty space, I began to think maybe some uh, malicious poltergeist was at work and not just a friendly one. That was when I started to feel like the house was going to try to kill us. I thought the house was going to try to get us. And these things happen right in front of our eyes. This is a very true story. I would swear my soul that it's true. Do you believe in ghosts? You will.